Hi everybody, Super Rainbow Queen coming in to share with you the complete meal of Sunday dinner. As you can see in front of you, yes, white rice in a rice cooker. You guys, certain things that I know that I'm not good at, I wouldn't even attempt to cook on the stove. And rice is one of them. I would not attempt to cook the rice on the stove, but there's the white rice. As you guys can see, here's the Zatarix honey butter cornbread. And this is just one box, you guys. Look at it. It looks real good. Did I show? I'm not pretty sure I showed you guys in a previous video. So if you haven't seen it, go to my uh, preparing my Sunday dinner video. You will see the uh, items that I use to cook my dinner with. But yeah, that's just the cornbread. And here is the main ingredients, the greens, you guys. I mean, not the greens, the beans and the smoked turkey leg. Okay. Let's get a look-see. This is the main thing I wanted you guys to see. I just cut it off not too long ago. Bam, here we go. You guys ready? Stir that up. Look at that. You cannot tell me this do not look amazing. There you go. See that? Let me do a steel shot of it without the messed up counter uh, counter thing over there. Bam. There you go. I took the bone out, you guys. And this is just the piece of skin. As you can see, I won't be eating it. And the reason being because it's kind of tough. Now, if I had the smoked turkey tails, I would be able to eat a little piece of the skin because it's just melting your mouth. But this turkey leg or drum... It's, it's kind of tough. I'm going to be taking this out. Like I said, this is just in here for flavor. This would not be eaten, not by me. I don't think the kids will pretty much eat this neither, but here's my big old pot, you guys. A smoked turkey leg and pinto beans. Look at it. No onions in it. No onions needed. The seasoning, I showed you all the seasoning and everything. Look at that big old pieces of meat. Okay, so that is my Sunday dinner at Rainbow's Place. And I also made you guys, let me put my top back on here. I made some um, homemade iced tea using, just a second you guys. I should have had all this stuff, but I want you to really see this. So if y'all see dish water, whatever. Okay. I use like three of these. Okay, for the iced tea. And I use one of these right here. These big old things. A limited tea I bought a while ago. And one of these. Okay, and I use one of these. And I made simple syrup. You know, I cooked the sugar in the water. Y'all know how to make homemade iced tea, and here's my homemade iced tea right here. Yeah, I'm moving y'all all around. Here it is. You guys, cheers to you guys, to all of you guys. Appreciate you watching my videos and things. And I made a big picture of it. Let me show you while I'm showing you everything. Here you go. Big old picture of homemade iced tea. Yes. So you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.